Hello friends. Welcome to my new JPA, Hibernate Programming Tutorial Series video. In this tutorial, we will discuss about, how to use at the rate transient annotation to make an entity field non-persistent in Hibernate using JPA. Let's move ahead. Friends. Persistence.xml file used in this example must have following properties, as mentioned in the slide. Friends, you can watch my complete video on persistence.xml, in this tutorial we can skip explaining the persistence.xml. Only property to mention is hibernate.hbm2ddl.auto, having value as create. This property signifies that, whenever we run application, it should delete previous schema and table, and create new table based on the persist method call. Moving ahead. Let's discuss how to make a field in an entity non-persistent. Create an entity by name employee. It has various fields such as employee ID, which is primary key in database. Employee name, address, state, city, zip code, country, email 1 and email 2. Let's discuss rest of code point by point. Number 1, at the rate transient annotation is placed over attributes, that are part of a persistent entity, but not intended to be persistent. Suppose, we want to save email 1 for an employee, but we don't want email 2 to be saved into database. At the rate transient annotation is placed over email 2 field. This at the rate transient is marker annotation, having no attributes. This annotation provides information to hibernate that, field email 2 should be treated as non-persistent. And should not be saved into database. Moving ahead. Let's create test class to demonstrate at the rate transient. Let's discuss the code point by point. Number 1, create an employee instance. Set all the properties as shown in the code. Such as name, address, mobile etc. Moving ahead. Number 2, let's call persist method of entity manager to persist employee instance. This will create a table employee in database. Friends, for rest of code working in this slide you can refer my previous tutorials on JPA. Moving ahead. Let's check database for table employee, and run a select query on it, as shown in figure. The image in slide displays the single row for employee entity, having employee ID and employee name and rest of the columns into it. It doesn't have column by name email too. As the field email to an entity is annotated with at the rate transient, it is not persisted into database. Moving ahead. So friends, this was the tutorial on how to use at the rate transient annotation to make an entity field non-persistent in Hibernate using JPA. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, at the rate transient concept in JPA gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.